we think now it is the available the website now uh, and the thing is what suppose that how we want to get aws which types of services now no suppose that if you are using any resources now or uh, aws which types of resources now it is the free how we want to get aws the which types of resources now it is providing the free now we are using the url is aws dot mission.com slash free this is the url now you want to get aws which types of resources now uh, which types of resources now it is uh, free or uh, if you are using any resources if you want to access any infrastructure which types of infrastructures now it is free now one by one we can discuss now third one is is how you want to register in WS website. Pass now we have got console dot in WS dot machine dot com. All of you, no, please Pass register to the this URL console dot WS dot Amazon dot com. Uh, this is the prerequisite when uh, because this is the first day class. Um, because uh, tomorrow we will discuss what how you want to access a website if you want to display your website your website now it is accessed all over the world suppose that now you want to design your website this website is accessed all over the world tomorrow we will uh, we will discuss how we can access the virtual machine on this virtual machines now we want to deploy your website it is accessed all over the world everything now we, uh, we want to implement my practical sessions so Please uh, be careful, all of you. Please register to the this URL. This is what console dot aws dot amazon dot com. Now let's see one by one we can discuss. No, safety first. We are using what aws dot amazon dot com. Aws now it is also providing the job. If you if you know the if you know that. Uh, cloud computing infrastructures now directly we want to switch now you want to have this this job directly now let's see offer this job now we are looking for aws.amazon.com This is what millions of customers now we are using the cloud based solutions and infrastructures now we are using. And this is what uh, if you want to access now this resources, free tier restrictions now. If you want to get this what less types of resources now it is providing. Let's see. Trainings and certifications if you want to develop a data science. Solutions architect. If you want to, if you want to interest, interested, directly you want to switch on this word, this types of certification. AWS is what all. It is also providing for free online training. Say AWS learning platform and AWS certifications. Now it is providing. Which ones customers now it is using for this types of resources all over the world. And this is what we are using these resources. Now let's see. One with once now we can discuss first we can discuss what what is the AWS now let's see what is the AWS one with once now we can discuss first we can discuss what what to the AWS and this is what AWS it is the world most impressive broadly adopts cloud based platform it is offering what 200 plus services only globally over the infrastructure millions of customers now it is using this infrastructure if you want to comparisons is for fastest cloud-based tournament and largest based enterprise organizations now it is using for lower cost become more reliable more faster services infrastructures now it is using this is what we are going for it is the benefits if we are using cloud-based infrastructure uh, this is what most secure, largest community based cloud. If you are using fast services of innovations, that means over the internet, 
that means global network regions now it is the available this is my customers and using this word which one company which one customers now it is using what this is what resources now this is the resources now what is the cloud which types of resources which one company now it is available as the cloud everything now it is available a ws website suppose that now your uh, ws uh, suppose that your uh, cloud computing portions now it is very good now you want to uh, for directly go to the job suppose that now you want to support that or uh, your uh, cloud infra success now you can cloud computing is not is good now directly here you want to switch now we want to join this what uh, ws join uh, jobs so, so directly go to the website here you want to using what content us now let's see Contact us now. You want to switch help and support center here. We are doing what AWS carriers. Let's see. This is what open vacancies. That's mean twenty two thousand five hundred thirty three four hundred shops. Now it is available. That means. On this shop open to all anyone users can be applied that means this types of infrastructures now it is available that means this is the cloud based in carriers now it is available anyone can be applied to the this shop anyone this is the opportunity anyone can be access this resource this is what cloud based infrastructures now it is providing plus this point it is clear or not now next task is what now we want to switch suppose that we are using the this resources and that thing is what uh, in ws now it is providing is what job resources no so, uh, all of you please give me the confirmations my skin is visible or not okay awesome yes no yes, no sir it's visible it's visible. yeah no sir no sir no sir it is it is not no it is not visible please just Maybe a minute guys are facing some technical issues so they need to reconnect it again uh, because your screen is already visible so they need to reconnect it uh class if there is any problem uh, if my screen is not visible so all if there you uh, i think there is internet issue your side Uh, please dis uh, disconnect this meeting, and again you want to join this meeting. Now let's see. And there is what now we want to get is what AWS. It is open vacancies. Anyone's notice access this resource. Now next task series we are using this resource. And there is what how we want to check uh, AWS which types of resources now it is providing. Uh, suppose that if we are using any AWS services, which ser which one services now it is free, and which uh, service in it is what pay as you go. How you want to get? Now let's see. We are using the URL is AWS dot Amazon dot com, and here we are using slash free. How we how we want to get? Or uh, is AWS uh, services for which types of services? No, it is free. We are using the URL is AWS dot Amazon dot com. Is clear? No. Let's see. No, we are using for or uh, which types of services resources? No, it is available. This is for we are using this URL. Now, let's see AWS and which types of resources now it is providing. What is the how we want to get and on these types of infrastructures now it is available free. Now this is what AWS free oh, tier gain. My skin is not visible. Yes, the screen not visible. All of you, please give me the confirmation. No, sir, your screen is visible. No, sir. Your screen is visible. Your screen. Is no, sir. Just a bit, you 
so we can see your screen very clearly and in a transparent manner there is some technical glitch from their side i think All of you, please give me the confirmations. Now, my screen is visible or not? Yes, sir. It please is. give me the confirmations. Yes, sir. It's visual. So it is visible. Uh, thank you for the yeah, thank you for the confirmations. Now let's see. Now we want to search uh, uh, in WS which types of services now it is free. How you want to get? Or uh, if you are using any resources. Which types of infrastructures now it is um, available? Now we are using this URL in ws slash amazon.com slash free. This is the this URLs now we are using. Now, under this what uh, it is a ws free tiers gain free hands on experience in ws platform product and services. Now it is available. If you want to register in WS website, then that means three hundred dollars now it is available. Then you are using these resources. Now types of services. Now, which types of services now it is free. Explore more than hundred product and services. Now we are using a WS free tier. That means hundred plus product and services. Now it is the available. And this space is uh, we are using for different types of resources. Now it is available. Suppose that a uh, free tier set, uh, this is what free tiers limits. Now it is actually when you want to register a WS website, this is what free uh, free tiers now it is the available. It is the available during your uh, during your registration phase. 12 months subscriptions now it is the available. If you are using any resources, that means 12 months. Free accounts now it is available. When suppose that 12 months now it is the uh, it is complete. After 12 months now your accounts now it is available. When you are using these resources now it is available. This is what for 100 plus services now it is available. Now let's see compute database storage container based architecture and container based architectures. Now we are using web and mobile application. Server based applications, machine learning, and machine learnings. Now we are using, and it's what these types of resources now it is available. Now, let's see uh, if you are creating any virtual machine. Now, let's see if you know that if you are creating any virtual machine by default, with all of you, please with this statement. That means if you are creating any virtual machine. Now let's see. We are using what uh, there's some uh, 750 hours per month of the Linux, RHL, sensitive to micro and TT micro instance. Depend on the regions. Now it is the available. That means if you are creating any virtual machine by default every month 24 into 7. If you want to comparison whole year. That means 750 hours per month. Now it is the free. If you are creating any virtual machine, that means uh, EC2, and that means Windows instance, Linux instance. That means now it is the available. I think if you want to comparisons any month, that means if you want to compare each month, uh, each month is what every month now. And uh, that means your limit 
it is beyond the limits now we want to access your resources that means aws info success and resources now it is available if you want to access these resources that seven every month now t2 micro that means windows instance and linux instance now it is the available freely available and this is what windows based infrastructures now we are using storage 5 gb of data storage now it is available stone database snapshot dynamo dv machine that means 100 plus project and services now it is available one by once everything we can dis uh, discuss suppose that if you are using any resources or uh, we have any resources we want to access so how you want to calculate this infrastructure now it is the upload now let's see these types of resources now if you want to access suppose that you do not know what is the issue to how you want to get if what is the ec2 how we want to get how uh, you know that uh, this is the ec2 now now we want to click this resource. let's see we are click this uh, amazon ec2 now let's see what is the ec2 how we want to get which types of resources now it is providing amazon it is ec2 secure resizable computes capacity and virtual any work store that means EC2, it is the on demanding virtual machine. If you want to require any virtual machines, everything now it is available. Now, let's see what is the EC2. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. It is the offer, what is deepest compute based platform? Compute based platform means we want to require the virtual machine. If you want to require any resource, latest processors storage networking operating system these types of infrastructures now it is the available that means at this time this company now it is using the this my customer that means we are going for this is the resources that means what is the ec2 which types of resources now it is providing this is what we are using for uh, EC2 resources now everything now it is available in AWS website how we want to get AWS resources every month that means 750 hours per month of 12 month of subscriptions now it is available if you want to access these resources now it is available this is what Windows based and uh, yeah, Linux based infrastructures now it is the available and the thing is what ec2 it is the resources now we want to access this resources now we want to switch we are using this resources yes our next task is what how you want to restart aws website when you want to restart aws website there is some prerequisite where we want to require when you want to restart aws website or uh, this is what uh, when you want to restart AWS website now we are using the URL is console dot AWS dot Amazon dot com. Which URLs we are using? How you want to register the AWS website? So all of you, please register AWS website because tomorrow we will discuss how we are creating the virtual machines, how we can access these virtual machines all over the world. And this website now, how we want to access my website. Now, tomorrow we will discuss how we want to access this website. Uh, now, my the web pages. That means we are working as the web developer. My website, anyone users, now it is accessed all over the world. These things here we want to require. Now, let's see how you want to rest the AWS website. This is what uh, uh, this is what create and new AWS AWS account. Create a new AWS account. Uh, this on uh, this is for some prerequisites when we want to rest at AWS website. When you are using for rest to the AWS website. Uh, there's what on uh, uh, this one thing is we want to require when we want to register the AWS website. This is what mastercard, visa card, and credit card. That means 
when you want to reach that AWS website, this is what this type Man. of cars now is the required. That means master visa and credit card. That means these types of card uh, now it is required when you want to register AWS website. Plus, be careful when you want to register AWS website. Rupee, uh, this is what rupee card it's not accept because rupee card is an accept only in india if you want to register uh, this is what when you want to register the ws website mastercard visa card and credit card here you want to require when you want to register a ws website your account to uh, when you want to register the ws website your account two rupees now it is detect after three to five working days this amounts now it is the refund this clear when you want to register a ws website is uh, uh, two rupees now it is de uh, detect your account and there is what when you want to register a ws website after three to five working days now it is refund when uh, someone uses now it is asked so uh, when it is the uh, refund your account why we are asking why we are want to require this type of card directly you want to register the ws website because reason is what uh, your account mail id it is fake your contact number now it is the fake when you want to register a ws website in this types of card here we want to require that means we want to register a ws website this types of cards now we want to record uh, class do you have a ws account all of you please give me the confirmations anyone do you have any ws account yes or no yes no sir yeah if uh, some if there's no accounts now it is available this is the url all of you please register to the aws website this is the mandatory because tomorrow we will discuss how we want to access my website or we want to creating the my website this website we can access my uh, access my website all over the world now let's see when we want to access a ws website here we want to require some prerequisite now let's see if you want to register a ws website here we want to require some prerequisite now let's see which types of prerequisites now we want to require let's see what things here we want to require first one is what is तो भर दिया है सूखा कैसे पोर्ट नंबर 2 मिनट में सूख गया 2 मिनट में सूख गया व्हाट इज द पोर्ट नंबर एंड सेकंड इज व्हाट इज आईपी एड्रेस ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज गिव मी द कंफर्मेशंस डू यू नो दैट यस या नो इफ यू डू नॉट द न्यू यू नो दैट so directly we want to switch my next part because tomorrow when we are creating the was my virtual machine when we are creating the virtual machine we are creating my website that means we are accessing for this websites now we are access all over the world that's uh, here we want to request for this types of port here we want to require please all of you do please give me the confirmations do you know that yes or no Yes or no? Do you know that? Yes or no? If you know that, so directly we want to switch my next part. If you do not know, so one by one, now we can discuss. Yes or no? Only one for the confirmations. No sir, but no sir. No sir. No. N. No. No problem. Now let's see. 
one by one now we want to discuss because this is the uh, prerequisite here we want to require because uh, when we are creating the web virtual machine uh, my virtual machines here we want to require is what traffic suppose that if you are creating the web uh, virtual machines now we want to require is this my this virtual machines anyone users can access this traffic now in this scenario here we want to require is what this web traffic that means anyone users now access uh, it is access all over the world now let's see one by ones now we want we can discuss what is the port number port number is a port number it is the communication in point between two devices what is the port number port number it is the communication in points two devices compare compare to your house number you suppose that your room your makan house numbers and you want to compare then your apartment number if you want to if you are using the hostel services now your room number it is what your addresses that means your locations it is your ip address and port number it is the delivery point which address here you want to deliver your packet this is concept of port number port number it is the communication in points between two devices when we want to deliver a packet one system to and in the systems here we want to require this resource this is concept now we are using what we are using the port number if you want to comparison port number it is defined by the see what what is the range we are using what port number 0 to 65535 total number of ports we are using 65,536, 0 to range is 0 to 65,535. This is the range now we are using. And under is port number, it is defined by three category. First one is what? Well known port. Well known ports, now it is reserved my system services if you want to access any services suppose that http ftp dns now this is the when services when if we are using these services these types of services ports now it is available now you know if you are in what when known port when known port starting range is 0 to 123 that means this is the when known ports now if you are using Suppose that if you are using SSS, SSS, it is SSS stand for secure cell and secure network uh, class. All of you, please note down this concept because uh, we, uh, tomorrow when we are creating the virtual machines, these types of traffics now we are using. Suppose that if you are using what Linux based virtual machine. On now we want to require this virtual this virtual machine we can access on my we are cloud based infrastructure now we are access my local system now we are using the SSS services SSS stand for secure cell and secure network and secure network secure way here you want to transfer your data we are using the services for and secure network secure way here you want to transfer your data we are using the services what SSL and secure network secure way transfer your services we are using the services what and 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 there is what FTP FTP stand for file transfer protocol over the internet when you want to download any file upload any file we are using the services ftp ftp stand for file transfer protocol over the internet when you want to access download any file we are using this services ftp it is contains two ports 20 and 21 
Port number 20, it is connection established. Port number 21, it is data transfer. When we are using the FTP service, FTP, no, it is containing the two ports. 20, it is connection established. Port number 21, it is data transferring. And there is what? HTTP plus, do you know that HTTP stand for? Hypertext transfer. I think do all of you very good. Hypertext transfer protocol. That means over the internet yeah. when you want to access the resources if you want to download text mp3 mp4 if you want to access any resources that means over the internet that means we can using the this resource so that means http hypertext transfer protocol http it is using which port http is work on Eighty. Yeah. Very good. Well done. That means HTTP. Now it is using the port eighty. Uh, now suppose that if you are using any website. Now let's see. Uh, this is what uh, the multiple times. Suppose that if you, you open any website. Yeah. No. And there is suppose that if you are accessing any website now we are using HTTPS. HTTPS stand for hyper text transfer protocol as for secure. secure. Now HTTPS now it is using the port four forty three. And the thing is, no, let's see. DNS. DNS stand for Domain Name System, Domain Name Service, Domain Name Service. That means DNS, it is visual any website if you want to access your website name yeah. to ip ip to name we are using the services dns that means dns it is visual name to ip ip to name now we are using the service for the dns now it is using the ports number 53 now, at this time, what uh, multiple services? Now we are using support that if you are using what MySQL, now is using the port number is for 3306. That means if you are using the MySQL services, now we are using my this is what when known ports, now it is starting in this word. Second port is my when known port, second is registered port. Let's start port now. It is reserved system. Go on to register and services now. It is reserved. Third port is dynamic. Dynamic port starting in this. 4952 to 65535. Now, let's see how we can identify how we want to check. Suppose that if you are using any website and the, this website now it is using how we can identify HTTP is work on port number 80. Now, let's see how we want to check if you are using what as. Uh, uh, SSS now it is using the port number 22. How we can identify this port? Now let's see. Uh, class, all of you, uh, please give me the confirmations. All of you know it is using the Windows based system. Yeah, someone uses now it is using the Mac, yeah, Unix, uh, Unix based platforms. Now you, if you are using, please, all of you, please give me the confirmations. All of you know it is using the Windows based system. Yes, you know? Yeah? Yes, sir. Windows. Windows. 
that means if we are using windows based system now let's see how we can add in, uh, suppose that if you are using the unix based platform suppose that if you are using kali linux ubuntu suse fedora that means uh, this is the unix based platform if you are using this resources this is what uh, if you are using uh, if you are using this resources is what you you are using unix based platform that means this info if you are accessing this infrastructure for different manner and in the resort ganesh there's any problem why you are using raise your hand there's any problem ganesh yes you know kya now let's see how we want to check stp now it is using the program directly now how now let's see we are using windows based system now let's see how we want to check window we are using this port number and this services now my os now it is installed c drive by default all of you by default we are installing any os by default location is what c drive if you are using suppose that if you are using what multi boot os um then you want to using another drive you want to install this os then you want to check at this times my systems now we are using what we are using c drive now let's see we want to लोकेशन नाउ वी आर शेयरिंग दिस लोकेशन windows system 32 driver and etc this is the locations now it is contains when known services now let's see if you want to access now we want to check we are going to support that how we want to identify http now it is work on port number t how we can identify now let's see we are using services we are open this file services now right click of this file open fit photo ki jata hai ki puri sorry photo ki jata hai open fit notepad you can use anything now let's see this files now it is contain port number from the when known services now it is reserved by the ina now let's see if you are using the ssh now let's see ftp file transfer protocols ftp it is contains two port number 20 and 21 20 it is connection established port number 21s now it is data transfer ssh and secure network secure way you want to transfer your data we are using the services what ssh 22 telnet it is the command line administrative tool when you want to access your system you access your services via the command line we are using the services what telnet SMTP simple mail transfer protocol. If you want to send a mail one system to another system, suppose that if you are using Gmail services or Yahoo, they have multiple providers. Now we are using the mail account. If you are when we want to send a mail one system to another system, when we want to send a mail one system to another system, by default SMTP service now it is the work. now let's see now we are using dns domain name system domain name system services now it is defined now http hypertext transfer protocol if you want to access the website over the world wide now we are using the this is also http now let's see
Now my website is for 43. This sponge now this can tell. That means if you are using the your website now we want to require this website over the internet. We want to require the secure infrastructure. Just clear. This is what. Yes, uh, if uh, in the sections, if there's any doubt, uh, you can ask yes or no. Because here uh, we want to require these resources. If in the sections there's any doubt, too, you can ask yes or no. Please give me the confirmations. If in this section there's any doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, we want to switch my next part. Yes or no? OK. Thank you, Bitesh. And in the evening. Now, let's see. And this is what now we are using is what port number. Now, my next is what IP. IP stands for Internet. Protocol. Do you know that IP address? Yes or no? Because this is the last prerequisite when it is the complete. Directly we want to switch my cloud. Because tomorrow we are creating the virtual machines, then we are accessing my virtual machines. This public IP address here we want to require. Well, because when we want to access this website, you know this website we are using this uh, and this is what we on um, public ip here we want to record because we want to access your website once for the confirmations yes know that the test can you share how you want how you can explain or uh, share your knowledge yes you know Please confirmations all of you. One for the confirmation, yes. My question is, uh, it is what is the IP address? I am asking, what is the IP address? How you can define? Sir, IP is basically for the identify a uniquely system in the universe. Well then, it is. This is what. What is the IP address? Now let's see. IP stands IP for internet. Is the protocol. internet protocol. Very good. Internet protocol. IP address is a logical address. Why we we say that it is the logical. Every so time, no, it is changed. Suppose that um, by the suppose that now currently now you are using your system. Suppose that your IP address one dot one dot one. There's no compulsory when you want to tomorrow you can access this virtual machine or you can access your internet. So this IP address not is the same. Every time your IP address not is the same. change. That means uh, this is the reason. It is the logical. Yeah. That means this address now it is the same. IP address it is the internet protocol. IP address is the logical address. It's provide unique and patients. Please provide a unique identification system in a network. Let's provide unique identification system in a network. We are using is what IP addressing. Now let's see. We are using SWAT two types of addresses. Now we are using this is what if you want to compare then what we are using what two types of addresses. First one is what IPv4 address and IPv5 
IP version 6 it is contains 32 bit of address and IP version 6 now it is contains 128 bit today we will discuss only IP version 4 because in, in this section here we want to require only version 4 now let's see IP version 4 it is the divide by the 5 class this is what Plus A. Plus B. Plus C. Plus D. And Plus E. Where we are using Class C, Class B, Class C, Class D, and Class E? Some Karnega. If, no, no, if you are using class A, class B, and class C, we are using the network. Class A, class B, class C, we are using the network. That means compared to the, your college lab. Now, uh, if you want to suppose that there are two different labs, now we are providing the IP address. Now we are using what A and B and C class A, class B, class C. We are using the network. Class D. We are using the multi class. And class E, we are using what class on uh, there's any idea we are using class E? Yes, you know? No, sir. No. This is what it is reserved experimental purpose. It is reserved. Suppose that can, if you are working as the this is what working as what now support NASA. No, currently no. it is reserved the research purpose. Yes, suppose that you are working as the Indian Army now. We, uh, 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 this address is now it is reserved. This address class C I P address now it is researched for the experimental purpose. <laughs> this address now is not providing any plans. This is what here, when we are using the networks, we are using three things unicast, broadcast, and multicast. When we are accessing my website, we are using three things unicast, broadcast, and multicast. What is the difference? Unicast, multicast, and broadcast? Yes, you know. We want to send a data. Unicoft by name we can define it. A uni that is single. And, uh, yeah. and if we will see about the multi cast and there is a multiple sources. We can use it there and, and uh, broadcast is the one that a device uh, will broadcast the uh, information into the different uh, devices across 
What is the difference between unicast, broadcast, and multicast? If you want to send a packet one user to another user, this is what one-to-one -one communication. Suppose that I am going directly and want to communicate. Himanshu, this is what one-to-one. -one. That means one user is not directly connected to another user. This is unicast. This is one-one one-to-one communication. This is called unicast. Multicast, if you want to send a packet one to many, you can say that one to many means one to many, the one to a group. Suppose that if you want to send a pack compared to a WhatsApp group, if you want to send a packet specific group, that means we are sending this message compared to your the class. Now we want to share your any informations directly. This information now we want to share your WhatsApp group. This means one to too many. This is what multicast and broadcast. When we want to send a packet one to all, one to all team means suppose that if you are using any content and multiples, if you are using what WhatsApp group, we want to share this message your all the group. We are using what broadcast. This point is clear or not? Yes or no? Got Unicast, it, sir. broadcast. And multicast now let's see uh, this is what we are using this resource set now and there is yeah. and the yeah. things uh, this is we are using unicast broadcast and multicast now let's see when we are using any ip addresses we are using for two types of addresses now we want to require now let's see this is what we are using is for Two types of addresses now we want to require that's one is what public IP address and private IP address. Now let's see how we want to define public IP address and private IP address. Now let's see what is the difference public IP and private public IP address. It's Table all over the world. This is means public IP address. It's suitable all over the world. That means this IP address. Now you want to access anywhere. That means we can access my resources. We can we are manage these resources. This is what we are using for eh? public IP address. That means public IP and this address is now you want to access. We are using this resources. This is what public and private IP address when we want to access these resources within the local net. That means within a network. It's table. लोकल दिस इज माई प्राइवेट ग्रीन पब्लिक आई पी दस मीन्स यू कैन एक्सेस ऑल ओवर दर्ल्ड एंड प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस इज एक्सुअल लोकल इंटरनेट नॉल Aina, we are Aina. It is design. Uh, it is design some private IP address when now we are using some private IP address range. Now let's see. Suppose that we are using class A, class B, class C. That's a my private IP address in this ten dot zero dot zero two. 
टेन डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव टाइप टू फाइव फाइव दिस इज क्लास ए माई प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस नाउ क्लास बी प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस इन जी इज वन सेवेंटी टू डॉट सिक्सटीन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो टू वन सेवेंटी टू डॉट थर्टी वन डॉट फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव दिस इज माई क्लास बी प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस नाउ क्लास सी वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टू फाइव सॉरी जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो टू एड्रेस दिस इज माई प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस नाउ how we want to check my private ip address and public ip address uh, if you are using windows based systems how we want to check your private ip address and public ip address now you are suppose that if you are using windows based system now you want to switch command prompt now we are using the cmd now you want to check my private ip address we are using the command ip config if you want to check your private ip address range now we are using the command is ip config ip config this commands now we are using check your private ip address it is oh uh, this is what broadcast yeah just wait one by once we can discuss let's see uh, if you want to check your private ip address now we are using the command is ip config which addresses now we are using if you are using windows based systems now we want to check your private ip address range my private ip address is now no we want to check your addresses we are using the command is ip config so, suppose that uh, this is what windows based system if you are using linux based platform now you want to check your private ip address this is what windows based system now let's see suppose that you are using unix based system now let's see we are using the command if config this commands now you want to check this uh, private ip address now we are using the command is what ip Windows based system we are using IP config, Unix based systems now we are using what IF config. Now let's see my IP private IP address range is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot fifty dot ninety five ninety four. This is my private IP address range. Plus, there's any idea how we want to check my private IP address? Do you know that? बैठ जाओ यस यू नो हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक अरे योर पब्लिक आई पी एड्रेस नाउ वी आर यूजिंग द यू आर एल इज सपोज दैट If you want to check your public IP address, now we are using the okay, URL www dot what is my IP address dot com. This URL now we want to check my public IP address. This clear? I have config. we are using my private ip address if you want to check public ip address we are using the command is what www dot what is my ip address dot com let me check is clear Yes or no? Yes, sir. If there's any problem, uh, you want to access public I all of you, please check your public IP address and private IP address.
please give me the confirmations if you want to there's any problem so you can ask now otherwise we want to switch my next part the test on um, broadcast means on uh, what is the broadcast if you want to send a packet one to all suppose that when uh, we are uh, send up a compared to your whatsapp group uh, suppose that if any message now you want to send your all content now we are using what uh, broadcast multicast when you are sending the message is what one to many that means we want to send suppose that your whatsapp group is what your family members group now we want to share your message your college group no this is what multicast this clear it is yes or no cancel kar do sir then what is the difference between static ip address and dynamic ip address sir static ip address that means um, this is what static ip address all over the world this address now it is the fixed this guy this is what all over the world this address now it is the fixed this is what static dynamic address suppose that at this times now we are using this type of address this is what dynamic this address now it is not fixed this clear when tomorrow we can access this infrastructure suppose that if you want to disconnect your net and again you want to access this as this url now my ip address not is the same that means if you want to reboot your device and uh, your ip and your ip address not is the change and that means this is what dynamic and static ip address all over the world now this address not is the fixed Uh, don't worry when we are on tomorrow on next on day after tomorrow everything we can discuss because uh, if, if you are using the cloud based concept when we are creating any virtual machine when we want to reboot to your virtual machine every times now your ip address not is the chain when we are using concept of eip that means how we want to fix your ip address all over the world this address now we want to require this uh, we want to fix now we are using concept of elastic and this is what ei static ip address it is clear yes or no yes sir uh, don't worry when we want to switch my practical scenario everything we want to implement what is the difference static ip address dynamic ip address everything we are implement this is what we are using my lab this clear one by sir, one we can everything we can discuss dynamic address sir without using any vpn uh, yeah everything is now to be are it is that since if we are using what static send dynamic at this time is what to uh, some multipass and all over the world multipass pro hackers now it is using is what some vpn based platform tunneling multipass things now over the internet multiple proxy servers now it is available that means if you want to change your addresses that means we are in concept of tunneling if you are using any antivirus uh antivirus company now it is providing tunneling based concept this clear multiple tools not 